How's it going, guys? Today, we're going over a tough tournament conditioning plan at Hoff. Alright, guys. So, I fished a tournament yesterday um, over in Illinois. This is a pretty shallow, for the most part, lake. Um, you get a little bit deeper water down by the dam and stuff like that, but for the majority of it, you're looking anywhere from about five to seven foot on average. Um, like I said, it's a really shallow lake. Uh, we started off yesterday morning um, throwing some top water. Didn't have a whole lot of success with that at all. Um, didn't even have any fish that were even interested at all, no blow ups or anything. So we got around some uh, rock. And started actually throwing some square bills around the rock. It was pretty shallow water. Um, I'd say probably anywhere from about two to four, two to four and a half foot deep. Uh, did catch one short fish there. Um, nothing spectacular at all. But uh, kept throwing it and just had a ton of followers. But they were all small. I mean, I'm talking probably anywhere from about eight to twelve inches. Uh, just constantly following it. Bait up there to the boat. So I thought about it a little bit longer and I thought, well, I'll get a little bit slower retrieve, tried that, still didn't work. Like I said, they were just coming up, they were hitting the back of it, but they wouldn't actually commit to it. So I went ahead and tied on a small swim bait, a little rage swimmer, um, and started throwing that. Uh, I did have a couple hits, but they were just kind of getting the tail of it. They wouldn't actually take the whole thing. So kind of dealing with the same thing there. So at that point, I thought, well, I just need to slow down a little bit here and went to just a Texas rig rage crawl at the time. Um, I did start getting a lot of hits. Um, my partner and I both kind of went the same way. We were getting hits just about every other cast, but the problem was is what they were doing is they were biting it, picking it up, and they would drop it immediately. Um, we ran into that for about a good probably 15 or 20 minutes. So I went ahead, I downsized my weight, um, I ended up going down to an eighth ounce weight at the time, and then I switched to a light wire hook too, just to make everything a little bit lighter to where they wouldn't feel anything and they weren't like picking it up and just dropping it because of weight or anything. So we did that for a while, still ended up with the exact same thing. Pick it up, drop it immediately. Um, we tried swinging on them as quick as we could. I mean, as soon as we felt them touch it, and it just had never, never mattered. Um, you know, my partner at the time thought maybe it was just the bluegill doing it, but um, like I told him, I said, you know, if the bluegill were doing that, a lot of times they're going to bite your pinchers and they're going to pull them off. Um, so we knew it wasn't the bluegill doing it, but, and a lot of times the bluegill peck at it quite a bit. So um, it ended up, sun came up a little bit more. Uh, it was probably around about 8.30 or so. We decided to move and go flip some brush, try that for a while. Um, really didn't find a whole lot of fish in the brush, which is kind of unusual for that place. That's usually the one place you want to go. It's got a lot of brush that's right off the bank. Um, they get up in there, especially when that sun starts coming up, trying to get in them little shady spots. But uh, didn't have any success there either. Um, a little bit later in the day, um, neither one of us had caught a keeper yet um, it was probably close to about uh, about noon I would say before I actually caught a keeper um, but what we did is we switched it up a little bit um, we went out there was a cove that actually had a little bit deeper water in it came out to about 12 foot deep um, and I seen a couple of uh, old trees that were laying down now what I did was I I threw out to the deepest part that I possibly could that those tree limbs were still hanging in down there. And that's actually when I caught my keeper. Um, I don't forgot how long it was. It was just, I think it was like 2.23 pounds or something like that. It wasn't very big, but um, it was a keeper. Um, but when he hit it, I mean, he, he hammered it. He didn't let go of it or nothing. I mean, he swam off just like you would typically have a bite. But... Um, that ended up being the only fish we weighed in yesterday. Um, I talked to several of the other anglers there. Um, everybody there was experiencing the exact same thing with the fish just picking it up and dropping it immediately. It was a very, very, very tough bite. So if you guys ever go out 
you know, in the hot days of summer like this, like the, the dog days of summer, it's, don't be surprised to not get that many bites like that. I mean, it happens all over the place. Um, as far as adapting to it, um, the main thing I can tell you is one, slow down. Um, I know people say when it gets really, really hot like this, the, the fish are extremely aggressive. And, and that may be, I would say probably for a little bit deeper lakes, you know, where you can actually go fish deep parts of the lake and they get down and they can stay in that cooler water. I do think they do get a little more aggressive there. But when you've got such a shallow lake like that to where the water's constantly heating up, um, we hit, I think we started off at about 86 degree water and ended up, we fished a couple of places that had about 89 degree water. So it was really, really warm. Um, but like I said, you guys get out there, you have problems like that, just remember, slow yourself down. Um, if you can, you know, make your bait smaller. Um, they're not looking for that big bait right then. Um, either a something like a Texas rig, something small with a Texas rig, a little shaky head. Um, if you can get them out there and they're suspended off the bottom a little bit and you can find them that way, you know, even a little drop shot will work. Um, but just remember, keep your baits small. Um, but by all means, if you go up there with a full-blown six-inch brush hog or something like that and you're getting creamed on I mean, by all means, stay with that. But it's not very often that's going to happen all day long like that. So... Hopefully that uh, kind of explained a little bit what happened yesterday and uh, look forward to doing a couple more videos this week. I'm going to try and get some more in there. I do have my new camera now. We're going to see how that works out. And I have some new video editing software that we're going to try to play around with a little bit and see if I can figure that out too. Hopefully the videos will get a little bit better and we can start doing some actual fishing videos now that I have the camera and uh, we'll see how that goes. So until next time, you guys don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that like button, and we'll see you on Tuesday night. Thanks.